Hey everyone, this is your boy number one versus number 95. Welcome back again to another video for all of you. Today we have finally a new car. His name is Gearstein Marshall. Gearstein Marshall. I still can't read his name. It took me a couple tries, but I'm getting the hang of it. So um, he is a 155 scale die cast. He is a part of the Cars on the Road series just came out back in September, and we're just getting new cases of these cars. I have every single car here. I'll be reviewing these two, and I'm already reviewing him now. Now, his prototype looks way different between the real car, and let's open them up out of packaging. This is brand new for 2023, so here he is. Here's... I'm just going to call him Marshall. Why not? I still can't read his name correctly. He's number four. He's got RDRR. He's number four on top. He's got the beautiful stripes. He's very similar to... Oh, no, I forgot this guy's name. I'm sorry. So we're just going to call him Blue Man. Why not? Blue Man. Yeah, so Blue Man, in comparisons, he's both the same car. This is the exact same car, just repainted, revamped it with every single thing that this guy has, and with his engine. Yes, yeah, so, I don't remember seeing this guy in the movie, I mean in the TV show. He showed up in the Salt Flats episode when McQueen and Mater... And made her turn to this thing. And in comparisons, yeah, he's pretty small in my hand. And in the comparisons between McQueen, he is pretty big. Alright, everyone. So, I have to cut the camera almost half a second there. So, <clears throat> what I have to say about him. I think this is a very great car. I like his color scheme. I think he fits pretty well in land speeders. I think he's pretty fast. I think if I had to say his top speed would be two to three hundred. And in comparison to all the other land speeders and Light McQueen, I think he scales in pretty well. I actually enjoy him. Well, this is your boy number one versus number ninety-five. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.